Hello, we are Cross Country Connections. So when we first started working on our project, we had a general idea of what we wanted to do, which was create some way to help people interact through a remote setting. <coughs> we got inspiration from all kinds of projects, such as r slash place on Reddit, previous artwork like 1984 by 1984, which is an art piece that mirrors the people in front of it by lighting up specific parts, other inspiration included Connecting Light, which is a project that involved light-up balloons that were all around London for the 2012 Olympics, and Sandbox, which is an exhibit where people were projected onto sandboxes and people could interact with others who were on the sandboxes. At first, our plan was to make a display that lit up and mirrored people as they moved around. Here's one of our ideas, which involved having half of each display show another person and their movements. We had other ideas that included making the display pyramids or door frames. We also considered using cameras that would help get a person's silhouette, which we would mirror on our display. From the literature review and ideation, we decided to create a matrix of buttons that would control different lights. To do this, we used an Arduino and MQTT script written by an ID8 professor. To test the connection of our two boards across the country, um, we used an Arduino and the MQTT bridge as we created two prototypes, one in Pittsburgh and one in California. Using cardboard, LED light strips, wires, and tape, we constructed a simple matrix of lights and buttons. In Pittsburgh, each button would turn on two lights to the right of it, which are shown in blue. And in California, each button would turn on two lights to the left of it, which is shown in red. This was to show the western side and the eastern side of the United States. We then conducted user tests with our family members and had them use the boards at the same time to observe any interactions that took place. Overall, everyone had fun using the boards and seeing the lights light up initially. Some participants would match the lights with the other person, while others would try to create some sort of pattern, and others would just make any lights light up. While this was fun, people were limited in what they could press with just a 3 by 5 matrix of buttons, quickly losing interest. Furthermore, small technical issues such as the lights were too bright, buttons were hard to push, and colors were randomly chosen were revealed. These revealed insights informed our solutions and our next prototypes. We decided to create a bigger matrix of 16 by 16 of buttons so that people could find it more interesting to create a wider variety of shapes and patterns. Furthermore, we wanted to include some more colors so people could experiment more with those as well. In terms of physical changes, we knew that we definitely had to diffuse the light a little with some frosted materials and also had to ensure that our display was strong so that users could easily press the buttons without it falling over. After creating our first prototype, Jennifer created a 3D render of our second prototype. Here we added more features such as a color slider that changes the color of the lights, a reset button to clear the whole board, stable legs to support the freestanding larger matrix, and a side panel that includes information about our project and the location of these two installations. This round of iteration focuses on making the experience more delightful for the user as well as reduce any confusion. Next, Michelle laser cut the acrylic and wood panels on campus and tested the amount of light diffusion by sanding the acrylic and comparing the distances to the light. After laser cutting the acrylic, we assembled and wired each button. Erica worked on, on the wiring schematic for the Arduino and a visual for the orientation of the LED strips when glued on the board. Next, we built the backboard and support legs as well as wired the LED strips together. On the right, we ran a NeoPixel code to make sure the buttons were working. Our current progress is two working LED boards. Some challenges we have faced were connecting the Raspberry Pi to CMU's Wi-Fi due to its barriers and transporting and assembling the board to campus. Currently, we are working on connecting the installations through the Raspberry Pi so that our boards can finally be connected. When we do, we plan to install our project in the CMU, Pittsburgh, and Silicon Valley locations and observe interactions between people on each coast. Thank you.